good afternoon, bro. It is a beautiful day outside. No cap. So look, man. Y'all welcome back to the channel. You feel what I'm saying? I hope everybody having a good day today. And I just, you know what I'm saying? I pray that whatever you want to do today, you get it did. You know what I'm saying? You achieve whatever you want to achieve today. So look, man, I want to talk to y'all about something. So like basically, this been on my mind for a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, today is the day, man, you know, that I was going to speak on it. I feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's a beautiful day. I just left the gym this morning, you know. I got my gallon of water. Like, I'm, I'm feeling good, you know what I'm saying? So, like, okay, so this is what I want to talk to y'all about. Because I went through this myself, you feel what I'm saying? And I just want to talk about it because it may be somebody out there that's, that's going through the same thing that I'm going through. You feel what I'm saying? Well, what I was going through. But I ain't even going to just say, like, I'm not still going through it, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't perfect, you know what I'm saying? Nobody out here in the world is perfect, so... Basically, what I want to talk about is recently, man. Okay, first off, I'm gonna put it like this, man. I'm 26 years old. Um, my whole life, you know what I'm saying. I've been, I've been grinding to try to be as successful as I can be. And I know, you know what I'm saying, that I'm on that route, on the correct route for that. I know that I'm gonna be a very wealthy man in the future. I know that my family gonna be straight. I know that I'm gonna create generational wealth. You know what I'm saying? When the time is right. So basically, man. Um, just talk to y'all about realizing how important small steps are in life like small steps man and I'm just not realizing this man um because I actually read it I think I actually read it in um Robert Kawasaki Cash Flow Quadrants book I've been reading a lot of like financial books and stuff like that a lot lately but it really stuck with me man and the reason that it stuck with me so much is because I never really slowed down to realize how important small steps are on your journey to success in life like i feel like man us as people we end up like we always get so caught up in trying to just take large steps towards success thinking like oh man if we if we do this much if we do this much more like success is gonna come quicker like da 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 da, da. but at the end of the day man i feel like Cause I had that thought in my head for the longest. I feel like that's not true. Like I had to realize, man, that as long as you make some type of small progress each day, you gonna reach your goal. And it's okay to be an underachiever. Cause me in my head, I always and I'm and I'm guilty for this. This is why I'm speaking on it. Like. Yeah, man, I'm speaking on it because it's like. For the longest I had in my head that being an overachiever was everything. Like, trying to cram so much stuff in a day just to get did, just so I feel good with myself. Like, just so I feel good with the results at the end of the day. Like, it's always, oh, let me do all this today so that way I can feel good. Like, but at the end of the day, man, I was feeling good to a certain extent. But for the majority of the time, like, for the most part, it, it had me stressed out a lot, you feel what I'm saying? And once I read that quote in that book, it kind of stuck with me. It was on some type of time to where it was like, okay, so being an underachiever is, like, I ain't gonna just say it's better than being an overachiever, but it's okay to be an underachiever sometimes. Because at the end of the day, when you think about it, man, and this is what I had to put in my mind, as long as you are doing something each day, even if it's this small, as long as you are doing something each day to work towards your goals in life, you are gonna get to where you wanna get to eventually. And at the end of the day, like I, I understand finally now what Nipsey Hussle was saying, like life is a life is a marathon. You feel what I'm saying? Like every day you gotta get up, you gotta grind, you gotta do what you gotta do every single day. It continues. It's a marathon, man. And another thing that I realized is life is a journey, not a race. At the end of the day, man, when you think about all of this stuff, when it boils down to it, the only competition you have is yourself. Each and every day, you feel what I'm saying? You should be trying to do something to increase your self-growth. You need to be better today than you were yesterday, I meant to say. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you are your only competition out here in life. Life is a journey, not a race. Every day, you gotta look at the mirror, and, and when you look at yourself in that mirror, 
you gonna realize that you are your only competition, bro. And like, it's so crazy, like, cause you just gotta really sit here and think, like, dang, like I really am my only competition. You gotta think, bro. I feel like so many people be getting so caught up with trying to compete with others and see what they got and be kind of jealous of what they got. And it's like, for what? Like, you hating on the next person and stuff like that, man, that ain't gonna get you nowhere in life. You feel what I'm saying? So. I feel like you just gotta take a step back and just sit here, man, and get you a, just a, a little fresh air, bro, and really think to yourself, like, dang, I'm really in my own competition out here. Bro, you your own competition in many ways, bro. By the way you look, by the way you think, by the way you, even by the way you dress, for some people it may be by the way they dress, because they like fashion, like, you are your only competition, man, and once you start looking at it like that, like, you, I feel like you would get a lot further in life, because you realize you're your only competition. But yeah, man, I just, that was on my heart to say, bro, um, at the end of the day, you feel what I'm saying? Do you compete with you and realize that small steps in life are very important, you feel what I'm saying? Don't ever feel like being an underachiever is less important than being an overachiever because at the end of the day, it's cool to overachieve because for the longest I've, for the longest, you know what I'm saying, within my life, like, I always felt like maybe if I do a lot in a day like this, I feel better or my success will come much quicker, but at the end of the day, I was lying to myself, bro, like, because at the end of the day with all of this, it just goes to say this. Once I start realizing how small steps are very important and how being an underachiever was good, I, st I felt like a lot of stress was just relieved off of my shoulders, like, because I wasn't trying I wasn't trying to go so hard in the day to what I was stressing myself out, you feel what I'm saying? And trying to just do too much because at the end of the day I was feeling good but I was doing too much I was stressing myself out but being a, now that I'm you know what I'm saying comfortable with being an underachiever like I already got in my head I may get this little small thing did today but at the end of the day man I'm still making progress and that's what's important that you make progress and realize you feel what I'm saying that taking small steps and achieving small things every day is that's dope and as, as quickly as you get that in your mind, man, the better you will be with mindset and everything. Remember this, being an underachiever is just as important as being an overachiever. But my cons, like I said, with being an overachiever is you can get a lot did, but it's not guaranteed to make your success come quicker. It will leave you stressed out a lot because it's like, man, I gotta do all of this in a day, but you don't have to do all of this in a day. I'm not saying, you know, just sit around and just be like, oh, I got time. Because, I mean, you got time, but at the end of the day, like, time is ticking. So I would say just plan your days out small piece by small piece. And all of, them, all of those small pieces are going to come together to help you get the big piece, which is your goal. So I always remember that. Another thing that I want to talk about, too, I ain't going to lie. Um, my boy Dope, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Dope just... Dope is a, a editor, you know what I'm saying? He real good at what he do, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Dope, man. Uh, y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel, his channel right here. I would say, Dope helped me really realize something, man. A lot of people, including myself, deal with perfectionism, like, because I'm a videographer, as I tell y'all a lot, like, I shoot a lot of music videos, I do a lot of stuff, you know? So, when I watched this video the other day, because he, he he was talking about this the other day, it made sense. Like, when you deal with perfectionism, man, perfectionism can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. The good thing about being <clears throat> a perfectionist is you know that whatever you do, your work is going to be dope. You're going to put 110% into it because you want it to be perfect. The con of being a perfectionist is that can bring a lot of stress upon you as well. And on top of that, it can really hinder you from getting things did because you want things to be so perfect. And when Dope spoke about that, like, it clicked in my head because I'm like, man, this is so true. Like, this is me because I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Sometimes I get, like, a lot of big video projects and I don't know it'll take me days to edit them after I shoot them because it's like, I have a battle in my head to where it's like, oh, man, like, I'm... Should I go ahead and start on it now? Do I have the right knowledge about how I want to start this video right now? Do I know how I want to go about starting this video? Like, it's just a battle, bro, between do am I ready to start on this project or am I not ready to start on this project? But like Dope was saying, man, just cut that. Just take being perfect out of your mind when you're doing 
something and just get it done. Like, and when he said that, it actually made sense, man. So it's like, now I ain't gonna just say like, I'm just a pro with it. Cause like, I'm still, you know what I'm saying? Sliding away from it. But it's like, just focus on getting it done. Stop trying to do everything so perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Because nothing in life is gonna be perfect. Like, it's, it's life, you know? You gonna make mistakes, but with those, with, with those mistakes, you know what I'm saying? You gonna learn from it and you gonna learn how to do it again and it's gonna put you at a higher level in life. So I ain't gonna lie, man. That's my TED talk for the day that was just on my mind because it may be somebody out here that's like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like me, for instance, like I always thought overachieving was just the way to be, man. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's cool to a certain extent, but you will find yourself less stressful if you learn how to underachieve just as much as you learn how to overachieve, you know what I'm saying? stuff gonna add up to get to to get you to your goal in life and help you be as successful as you want to be but yeah man if you're new to the channel please make sure that you comment like subscribe most importantly turn on those bell notifications man because i'm finna be flooding y'all with new content man back to back to back so y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day man if you're sunny where you at get out take you a walk get you a breath of fresh air you know what i'm saying and hey, let's do it. I'll see y'all in the next video.